Hey everyone, welcome back to Environment Together. Today, we're going to be talking about kelp. Kelp plays a huge role in combating climate change and supporting marine ecosystems. It's sort of like seagrass as they are both marine plants, but it's also very different as they have different real-world applications. Kelp grows only in cooler waters of temperatures 42 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. They don't have roots like seagrass as they are a form of macroalgae and instead have a holdfast at their base which binds to the rock at the sea floor. Nowadays, kelp is used in toothpastes, shampoos, salad dressings, puddings, cakes, and as a standalone food. Kelp fascinates me because they grow up to half a meter per day, that's like this big, and photosynthesize with not only their blades but also their stalk. This means that like seagrass, kelp can produce far more oxygen than terrestrial plants. And this is more important now than ever before, as oceans are getting more and more acidic every day. Increasingly acidic oceans are destroying coral reefs and other marine animals like shellfish. The oceans are becoming more acidic because of too much carbon dioxide seeping into the water. But while the global average acidity drops, some areas stay safe. In Oregon's Natarts Bay, oysters were planted, and only those protected by kelp forests thrive. Kelp is the perfect plant. It produces oxygen, decreases acidity in water, reduces carbon in the atmosphere, helps shellfish, fish, sea urchins, sea otters, sea lions, and even some whales to live, and importantly, can be used for food. As soon as I heard about the wonder that is kelp, I thought it should be farmed. An organization called Ocean Approved in Maine farms kelp and is conducting research on its effects on the environment. Kelp is a win-win as it helps the environment and can be used as a food and even fertilizer. In Northern California near San Francisco, three women have opened up a kelp farm called Salt Point Seaweed. They are conscious that their farm not only produces fresh seaweed for local restaurants, but also makes the environment better for any nearby animals. Seaweed's potential is massive. It is rich in vitamins and minerals and high in protein, making it an ideal food. Currently, three-fourths of the world's seaweed is produced in China, and global production is 12 million tons per year. A 2016 World Bank report states that kelp production should rise rapidly in the years to come and has potential to impact the world's economy in a major way. Kelp is on the up, and it's fantastic for our Earth. The fact that it requires no additional water to grow, no pesticides, and no fertilization is amazing. And it grows half a meter per day, making it the perfect plant to farm, as it can be planted, harvested, sold, and replanted in a short amount of time. Like seagrass, kelp is something that gives me hope for the future of our planet. Kelp is all natural, and it's good for both people and the environment. If you want to help kelp thrive, clean up after yourself at the beach, and check out my videos on sunscreen and microbeads to learn how to act responsibly towards the ocean. Also, keep your eyes and ears open for any kelp-related developments or companies to support. We need all of you to help make kelp the next kale. If we all do our part, we can save the environment together.